Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. I just wanted to show you guys today how I use Silhouette Studio to create a custom union that I will eventually throw on my CNC for it to carve for me. So this is just me, uh, again, using Silhouette Studio for that process. This customer mine happened to give me this image of, um, of this eagle for this school. And so I had this, and what I needed to do was convert it to SVG file like this. I sometimes take the time to do it myself, but most of the time I just have a have someone else do it who's quicker and better than me at doing it. So that's what I did this time around. Again, I, I outsourced this um, this file conversion to SVG. All right, so let's go to a different tab. I've already got the SVG file preloaded on a different tab. So this is what we're going to use to create the the custom union. I've also got the 50 star uh, flag or the 50 star union. Excuse me as well so we'll use this to um, merge the two pictures together creating that custom union for us so what we want is for this image to be centered with the 50 stars so how do we do that so this is what we want it to look like the first thing that I do is create a rectangle using this uh, option here create the rectangle it doesn't matter what size just get it get it set up and then we're gonna go over to the um, the transform panel option and we're going to click on the scale option and then we are going to size this rectangle to the union size of the flag you're making so in my case it is a small flag so we want it 7 by 10 that's the size of my union so once that is sized I'm going to select all three images here the, well, the two images and the rectangle and while still in the transform panel I'm going to click on the align and I'm going to align the center and I'm going to align it vertically and that way my two SVG files are centered within the, the union that I created. So once I have it all grouped, what I do next is I select the 50 star union and in my particular file, I have to ungroup, ungroup it to be able to manipulate the 50 individual stars. And I have to ungroup it twice in this particular case. And once I have it ungrouped, I'm now able to edit the individual stars. And what I wanna do is delete them from the center of this image or whatever image that you're working with. So once you have the stars removed from the center of the image, you're going to have these stars that overlap into the image and you're going to have to decide whether or not you want to remove them or edit them. I prefer to edit them, it just gives the union a fuller look. And to do that I use the knife tool and you're going to want to zoom in really close because as you can see in this first cut it's not the cleanest and that was because I, I wasn't zoomed in enough. So I'll undo this cut and then zoom in and perform that cut again. So you're going to continue this process for all the stars that are overlapping into your image. And once you have them split, you'll be able to delete the section or delete, yeah, delete the section of the star that is overlapping into the image. Once you know the method of how to cut these down to the size or to the shape that you want, it's fairly simple, so I'll fast forward this part. It looks like I forgot to get this star out of the way, so I'm gonna delete this one, and then move on to the last star, which is this center star here. I'll just remove the, the top of it. This is an opportunity for you to get as precise as you want. As you can see, I left a little lip there. And then you just keep on doing that, that cut. And again, I did it again. So just keep going through that process until you get it just right. Once you're done with the cutting of the stars, you're now able to select the overlapping section and just delete those out. After reviewing the cuts that I did, I ended up not liking the two top stars. So I had to undo everything and just recut everything, but it allowed me to cut these two top stars again uh, to the way that I did like them. And as you can see here, I'm just it's taking me a couple of tries, but be as precise as you want. I like to make them as straight as possible because on the CNC, the slightest um, 
slightest lip will be visible in the SVG file. So um, that's why I'm trying to be as precise as I can be. And so once you're done modifying your stars, you're pretty much done. What I like to do next is just remove this outer border and then select all my uh, stars in my image, group those. And once I have it grouped, I then save it. And in Silhouette Studio, it's very easy to save as an SVG. What you're going to want to do is select Save As. And I like to save it to my hard drive in my downloads file. And just name it whatever you want to save it wherever you want. But you want to select the SVG format from the drop down menu. That way, you're saving it as an SVG. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's how you create a custom union. From this point, I'm going to um, send it over to my CNC, but you're able to do that or send it off to your vinyl cutter or do whatever you want. But now you have the SVG and a custom union. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.